Vonnie Log V3. Shout out to the Mel High Minute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what time it is. You know what we on, and we on that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Shit, Mel High Minute. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, man, Mile High Minute, number one podcast in the universe. We out. The best. Cowboy, the wild boy, checking the f in. You watch the Mile High Minute. Mile High Minute, man. Mile High Minute, up. That's what's going on. Mile High Minute, man. I know what's going down, man. Mile High Minute, 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 man. Damn, I need a lighter, man. baby. This has been a long way to fucking in. <laughs> a long way to fucking in. We've been talking about this for a minute. For a while. And it, the crazy part is, I don't fuck with niggas like that. But I fuck with y'all, obviously. That's love. Man. For real. I don't really be fucking with niggas, bro. And But but I respect y'all's movement because I've been in the uh, marketing business for a long time. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, cuz we need, we need a Say Cheese in Colorado. We need a college kid in Colorado. We need a, a, a shot of man or what are them niggas in Colorado. And that's y'all though. You know what I'm saying? And I seen that shit. I'm like, yeah, they on to something. And they doing good though. You know what I'm saying? For real. So I, my hat's off to it, nigga. I'm riding with it. Whatever you need, we gonna do what we gonna do. I appreciate it. Keep it going, huh? All right, man. Well, shit. This is the Mall High Minute, number one podcast in the fucking universe. Right. Hey, we tapped in with the Denver legend, man. Vonnie Lug. What's going on, bro? Vonnie Lug V3. Y'all know what's up with me, man. What's what's going down? How y'all doing? How y'all living? Living good, man. Shit, this, uh, like I just said, man, this been a long way to end for real. You know, yeah. Been talking to DM for a minute. Um, you're definitely one of the harder rappers out here, for sure. You got some really good, big books. I see you on Bell's TV. This is 50. Um, shit, you were basically made you the, the star highlight, right? Yeah, yeah, the highlight. Hey, somebody got a lighter? I can't. Oh, I got one. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, uh, Thizzler, Thizzler did, uh, we did our, uh, freestyles and all that, and, uh, Thizzler, Thizzler did highlight me, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, so let's just jump right back into the man's spot. This is our first interview, so we gotta kind of get the backstory. Uh, let's get to it. Originally from Denver? Denver, Colorado. Uh, I'm a Montbello nigga. Montbello. Uh, you know what I mean? I done had all sides of the world. East side, uh, uh, Aurora. My family from the east side, but I was raised in the Bellows. Okay. And then my mama, uh, from, uh, Weatherstones and Joliet, Aurora, but I was raised in the Bellows. But I was raised all them other places too as well, but I'm a Montbello nigga. That's real, that's real. Growing up in Montbello, what was it like? It was cracking. Um, you know what I'm saying? Growing up in Montbello, I, I, especially as a young kid, we didn't have too much problems. Uh, we was cracking. We was getting active. We was doing what we do uh, on some Montbello shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, growing up in Montbello as, as, a, as a kid and as a youngin' was real cool. It was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until until the nigga got older and the politics uh, took its it took its place and shit like that. But growing up in Montbello as a young nigga, it was hella cool, bro. And then when a nigga got older and a uh, uh, nigga start beefing and, and tripping with each other and, and funking and nigga start splitting the hood in part, that's you know that's that's re what really uh was tragic in the hood. You feel me? But. I'm a real life Montbello nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean, it, can't nobody take that from me neither, nigga. It is what it is. Okay. Montbello's one of those places, like, it's a stamp out in the for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You come to Denver, you come to Colorado, you tap into the music scene, or whatever, you gotta go to Montbello. It's one of those places. Well, you know, Montbello niggas was like, uh, at one point in time, years ago, niggas looked at Montbello niggas like, 
they was on or some shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, oh, you got Ike over there, you got Doe over there, you got Boozilla over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got MNLD over there. Uh, and then a lot of the famous rap niggas would come pull up straight to the bells. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that shit was. Uh, would you say that a lot of people are kind of sleep on Mont Bello now when you got the east side and Park Hill and like all the west side, even like all these other sections in Denver popping, especially in the music scene? Nah. Or do you think it's still, you know, Mont Bello's definitely. Big dog, yeah. well, 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 you know when a nigga, when the, I, I, I don't think that Mombello slept on, but I believe that other parts are getting their dues. You feel me? Like shit. Uh, Eastside niggas, like bro, bro, ten of them, them niggas having paper, they making it look good. Like who done that over there? You feel me? Uh. Then Park Hill niggas got some ballers, some baller niggas over there, balling, having paper, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I just personally think nigga, uh, in due time, like like when they say in due time, you are gonna see everything else that's, that comes with what's already going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just think Mombello had a chance because we had a lot of motherfuckers that was very popular. Uh, uh, in, 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 in all aspects, you feel me? We had big dope dealers in the hood. Uh, we had uh, mediocre rappers that was big enough uh, to, to make a name. Uh, oh yeah, I, I bro, that, I love bro, on God. You still be out here? Interstate? Yeah. Interstate Ike is town business. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can't really just say where Cuz at and where he be, you know what I mean? But Cuz is town business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he town business, he ain't going nowhere, you're around. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just think Mombello niggas, we, we was like, really Mombello niggas really brought a lot of motherfuckers from out of state to even uh, fuck with other niggas from other cities anyway, you feel me? But I, I swear to God, I, I know them niggas getting money over there on that hillside. And I know them niggas getting money over there on the east side. So uh, the, the the best thing you could do is what? We put it together and do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, shit, nigga. We got a nigga from the east side. Like, we called him. Hey, bro, we need to press this issue. We called a homie from Park Hill. Hey, bro, we need to press this issue. We got a homie from Aurora. We need to press this issue. When all the money come together, that's and that's what I want to tell these these people on this. <laughs> like like like, you want to press the issue? That's the easy part, and it's the best part. Why? Because when the money come together and, and niggas is doing good things, we're gonna have good outcomes. And you have to you have to appreciate the motherfuckers who really put us in this position. Cause this motherfuckers that's doing it because we can do it. Not because we wanna do it, not because we uh, think we wanna do it or like no, it's really motherfuckers pressing this issue, getting that paper and pressing the line for this shit. For this Colorado shit. No, they, they balling out on the west side. The Mexicans over there, oh, yeah. they balling. Yeah. They having paper. You know what I'm saying? Like respect. Yeah, yeah. like you know, Colorado versus everybody. Niggas just having paper, bro. Yeah. And, um... Well, growing up, I mean, what were you, like, were you hooping or anything besides before you got into the rap, or was it always, always the rap? Nah, um... I never played basketball. You don't want to play me in no basketball shit. You gonna beat me, for sure. Oh, okay, so you at least be a real mama when you talk on the camera. Just, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> nah, a nigga not gonna be up. Uh, I mean, the nigga gonna <laughs> beat me on some basketball shit. <laughs> Cause that's not. Mm, I've always tried it. Growing up. Right, right. <laughs> of course, we had to try it. Mama bought us a basketball goat. Shit. My little brothers and them, they can hoop, but that wasn't me. I play. <laughs> I play football. I bet you nobody could come up uh, fuck with this linebacker though. Okay. 
couldn't nobody uh-huh. come cross this line and come fuck with me. We, I was jumping the line and, and blaming niggas before you could even cross the line. You know what I'm saying? They know that though. You yeah. feel me? Uh, <coughs> and I, I never played for a Colorado team though. I played for uh, Oklahoma, Harding Middle School. Did you, so you lived in Oklahoma for three years? Yeah, so like, so, <coughs> and like, let me, let me break that shit down to you though, just so you have a better understanding, you feel me? Yeah. My dad stayed, my, my dad stayed in Mount Bella. Mm-hmm. My mama stayed in Aurora, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But my dad stayed with my grandma, and my grandma from the east side. But by the time she moved to Montbello, we're from Montbello. Right. We was hella young. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then, um, uh, whatever my mom and my dad and them, and them had shit going on or whatever, uh, you know, my mom, event, well, my mom, okay. My mom was, uh, uh when we moved from Colorado to Oklahoma, my mom stayed in the Weatherstones. Before she moved to the Weatherstones, she stayed in the Jollyettes. So, my mom stayed in the A in the hood, and then my dad stayed in my Bello in the hood. So yeah. I really just got like the best of both worlds, you feel me? That's why you tapped in. Right, so like, I, I be knowing all these niggas, like I know all of them. When I was a kid, shit, nigga, we did everything on foot as a kid. When I was a kid, see, you probably don't believe it, but you don't think a motherfucker will walk from uh, Chambers to Kingston as a kid, as a youngin'? We did that. We did shit like that. See, I mean, we did it on purpose. You just know? Fun, yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> we was just fucking around. Oh, yeah. Until niggas start getting cars and all that extra shit. Right, and, right. You know what I'm saying? But. And like I said, mind me, my people is from the east side anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> and then not even just from there. My people is from 25th and Monaco. Uh, 25th and Monaco, uh, my granny, my great granny, my grandma's mama, rest in peace. Rest her soul, uh, rest, rest in peace, Grandpa Henry. And we could have been bloods. You know what I'm saying? So like, nigga really, Ooh, my bad. My bad, y'all. Don't, don't, don't get like me, cuz. For real. B3 be on some shit, cuz, but I'll tell you some real shit, cuz. But nah, uh, really, really niggas, really, really niggas got like ties from everywhere, bro, bro. Good look, bro. Really niggas got ties everywhere, bro. So. But uh, I'm from Montbello, but I'm from the world. I don't, I don't like really telling motherfuckers, oh, I'm from here. I'm, nigga, I'm from the earth. <laughs> I mean, real, and on God, when I step out and I go to another state, it's like I'm at home because my nigga is gone. They with me like that from there and from here. Okay, so when did you start getting into rap? I'm drunk as fuck. Put that on the record, nigga. I'm drunk and I'm smoking weed and I'm hot, nigga. Put that on the record. So when did you, uh, yeah, when did you start getting- Bro, I've been, I've been rapping since I was nine years old, bro. Uh, I've been rapping before a lot of these niggas, bro. And that's just the honest, the guy's truth. The niggas want to do a background check, however you want to do it, I'll pull them out. It, it's the, that, that's the easy part. Uh. How'd you get into it though? My dad, B yeah. Black. Okay. Pioneer from the town. Okay. So uh, he's a rapper, he's a producer, he's a singer. Uh, yeah. okay. My dad is the generation before the motherfuckers you probably my dad is the night like the nightclub generation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh I can no, like I, Ike and Doe them, they after Nike. Okay. Nike, you know the Nike Low? Nike, no, no. You ain't heard of Nike Nitty? Nike Low? Okay. Well, Nike Low, Pioneer. You heard of Jew Locks? Mm, I'm sleeping. No? I'm young. Okay, look up Jew Locks. <laughs> them niggas over there. Uh, but you have you ever heard of Boozilla? Boozilla. Zay Boo. 
Okay, well, but you know, you heard of Ike and them though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, no, Boozilla no. and them is Ike's nymphs. If it was, if it wasn't no Boozilla, it wouldn't be none of them. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Niggas say what they say, feel how they feel. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We all from the mafia. It is what it is. But uh, Boozilla paved the way for for your young does, for your uh, hog men's, for your uh, interstate dykes. You know what I mean? And then uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. Yeah. I'm looking at your, your catalog right now. Like, damn. Yeah, I'm up there. It's 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 like that because it is what it is. I see this one with Trey Rodda. That song I'm definitely trying to do over. You know, Trey. That song with Trey Rodda get a lot of uh, that shit get a lot of attention. What's that? Because at, at that point in time, at that point in time when we did that song, we was the niggas. No, for real. And we wasn't even, we weren't, we weren't even doing too much or doing nothing too less, you feel me? Mm -hmm. We was just the niggas at that time that was waiting on us. Shit. I had just got out of jail. When we did that video that you talking about, because that's the only vi uh, song in video we, we got on there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, You're talking about. Face. Yeah. yeah, so when we did, that's why when you hear me rapping on that song, I was fresh out of jail, bro. Well, I was in jail for like 10 months or some shit, something like that. Somewhere around there, for sure. Yeah. And then uh, I got out and did that song with Trey Rider. We did that. Well, that's really Trey Rider's song. But I got the video shot, you feel me? Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's our song, but bro came up with the, the beats and the beat and all that shit. Yeah. It was like, bro, come, uh, come gas on this shit. And the crazy part is, I fuck with that song and we got fans for that song. You probably won't hear another Bonnie Loke and Trey Ryder song, but that's what make it unique, though. You feel me? Now, cause y'all both legends from the city. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's dope to see y'all come together. I also see you got a, a, a song with Only Be Easy. <laughs> yeah, hottest, that's Lil Bro. Yeah, he's one of the hottest rappers out there. How did that one come together? I would call, oh, I would call Peasy, but Cud probably ain't gonna answer. Cud on that nigga, he be having, like, we all got hella phones. <laughs> My phone over there. He probably ain't gonna answer anyway. Half time. But uh, Cut ain't gonna answer unless I text him and some more shit. But yeah, yeah. uh, OMB PZ, that's a little bro. Mob ties, nigga. OMB PZ and Young Lyric. From the rap game. Young Lyric from the rap game? Yeah, yeah. That's a little sis. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, me and Young Lyric, uh, we really got like the same management company. Uh, my PR is her PR. Don't give me the line, but we all, we, we well, we really all together, but I don't know who's doing business or how they doing business with, but we all got the same PR in the end management. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So a motherfucker, her manager might be doing PR for me or my manager might be doing PR for her. So like, we just all work, you know, yeah. And then uh, I'm about to uh, I'm about to fuck with Asian dog. Oh, that would be hard. She's that's a uh, I got some pictures with her. We all through the same. That's our whole little clique. Uh, shout out to uh, Prince of L.A. Nigga, uh, look just from Blueface Hood. Yeah, yeah. That's bro. Bro was on the road with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I got some, and I got some good niggas, man, that's doing some good shit, though, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so, that's that's my little circle as far as the management and shit. I'm pushing K-Dotter, my niece. Oh, yeah, she go crazy. That's really what it's gonna come down with me for, with her. I've been learning so much shit, but I'm about to start shooting, being an actor, doing films and shit. <laughs> Right, so I, I'm, I'm gonna do some films, nigga. And then like, you, have you heard the album? Yeah, I want you. Yes, January 20th. Is that right, babe? On the 20th? 
But she faded. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we, it be you, like that sometimes. So we just dropped Ghetto Luxury. Ghetto Luxury drop, dropped on uh, January 20th, bro. Okay. And uh, shit, it's really going up. And I, I ain't even really did too much right now because uh, I'm waiting on a couple commercials and shit like that. I got a couple placements with a lot of big people. Okay. I don't say who, but I'd rather y'all just see it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a couple of uh, big Instagram and just uh, digital media placement with other people. So I'm waiting on my commercial, who the shooter, cause send me my shit, nigga. For real. Who the That's my brother, too. Crazy. Who the shooter, my brother. That's my nigga. Oh, yeah. He first sent me my shit, though. Nigga. <laughs> my shit, yeah. for real. Nigga. Okay, so what we gotta talk about, first off, you got the burger on the shirt. That's Are you a part of burger? No, you're not a part of burger, right? Are you yeah, I'm just part of everything. I'm part of your shit. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, you feel me? I'm a yeah. part of Mel High Minute. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's Am I part of Burger Gang? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Me and Burr Bro, like, I, uh, maybe if y'all see me interrupt Bro's uh, meeting, cause, hey, if I gotta pay you for that, my bad, cause I didn't try to <laughs> get in your shit, cause you know how we do. But look, uh, you gotta understand, me and Bro is baller friends. No, for sure. Like, you'll never see no niggas like us. When we gone, you'll never see no niggas like us. You hear me? Yeah. And, and I'm fucked up, yep. On the crown, that's what I do. V3 be on the crown, cuz on the set. But, uh, nah, on, on some real shit though, if God was to take niggas like us right now, that shit would be crazy, cuz we good niggas like. We live to make other people happy. Yeah, like, I like to see people smile. I like to see people happy. I like to see people enjoy. You know, and and if you can do some shit like that, if you, I don't know what nobody believe in, but I believe in once I feel good about what I'm doing, then the world will take over with that. The universe or whoever that I'm praying to or yeah, yeah. that I look out to, they gonna look out for me. It's somebody like it's so many religions to where a motherfucker be having to some people wanna compare what they believe in with what the next motherfucker believe in and at the end of the day we all gotta believe in right because don't nobody wanna get done wrong. Nobody. So when you care and you and you really have a belief into something, somebody gonna answer you. Whatever it is, shit. It might be somebody, someone, something, something. For sure. Um, you know we ain't here for nothing though. So somebody, some something is in formation <laughs> that's watching over you, loving you, and guiding you, or for sure. even got you even out here breathing. So whatever that is, we gonna. Well, whoever got me living, why, if I'm living and I'm walking, I, I have a life, whoever did that, that's who I'm loving right now. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm right here. Yeah. How did, how did the uh, Mel's TV interview came, come together? Because that was legendary. Bro, was started it? a whole wave in New York. He, him, Zach TV. Goats, Chicago, New York. Man, so how the fuck? I got it. Goes? I think you're the only Colorado rapper on that. I am. Don't quote me on that. I no, I am. It, I right. am. Oh, he already told me I was. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I need to tap in with bro. Man. Bro, ahead. that's the. Do you know that's the easy part? Yeah. Bro, I'm gonna give you my line. Call yeah. me in the morning. Yeah. And I'm gonna like you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. Uh, we gonna call bro on three way. And I'm gonna give uh, y'all gonna lock it in right there. You need to make but uh, no, Mel's TV, one of the realest niggas ever. Realest one. Like Mel's, I could call Mel's right now and Cud gonna fuck with me. That's real. Like, he gonna fuck with me. Why? Because I did what I was supposed to do when I needed to do it. Facts. You hear me? Yeah. I fuck with Mills. Now, who introduced me to Mills? I can't really shout him out because I pay for it. But sometimes you gotta pay for shit to fuck with a nigga like that. 
Motherfuckers pay. Bro, don't even money. be on me. Yeah. Mills don't ever. Mills fuck with me. No. I can call Mills right now. Boom, bro. Boop, 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 boop. Let's do that. No, that's not true. But nah, I did get plugged in with my nigga Mills, with my New York niggas. Uh, yeah, my New York niggas put me in there. I paid a ticket. I paid my nigga to introduce me to my niggas. But that's what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But I that now that's my nigga. I've been fucking with him for about two years now. This is my nigga. Two, two and a half years. I've been fucking with Mills for a minute now. And I was on my press run and pushing my shit. So. That's what I want to show you artists though. Some of your artists need to invest in your craft. Talk about that. Man. What's the importance of investing in The, the importance. Mo real quick, motherfuckers be, you know, because motherfuckers are paid. You might have to pay Mel High Minute yeah. a couple of dollars though. You hear me? Yeah. You might have to pay Mel High Minute a couple. They, they don't want much. Like, nigga, we. Nigga, come on, cuz. Uh, if a nigga wants something, a nigga don't even. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One more time, though. Yeah. A nigga don't even be want nothing, but a nigga would appreciate something. But, right? But, right? So, like, you niggas will go pay a nigga that y'all don't even know that you seen on these TV screen, right? But y'all won't go pay a nigga that you see on these streets and in your own city that's doing the same issue that they doing, right? And not even only that, y'all putting money elsewhere instead of here. Right. And so, I mean, shit, these niggas gonna blow up. Okay, hold up, hold up, okay, what time is it? Let me see your phone. It's uh, 11 18. Hey, this is Thursday, February 25th, 11 18, right? Hold up, shout out Kobe too, real quick. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's focus, yeah, 11 18 Thursday, yeah. February 25th, 2021, man. So, look, either y'all gonna get down with this shit right now, don't come when you feel like it's gonna help you. Yeah. You feel me? You gonna get lost in the I just, we just gave you the date, we just gave you the time, and uh, the date and the time, and, uh, the whole moment, nigga. So, nigga, uh, do not come over here without no paper if you're not even gonna support it before niggas get taxed over their ass, nigga. <laughs> Man, it's pretty soon it's gonna be a, a rack plus to Nah, look, look though, we, we we like your world stars. Yeah, yeah. We like your um your say cheeses. Um shout out to Mel's TV. Um We like all them, you know. <clears throat> And hopefully y'all co-sign what we doing out here. No, no. You know, and it, cause we, I, I just co-sign what y'all do. So show us some love. You, like if it's really like that, and they, mm, mm, we fuck it, nigga. We pressing this. Yeah. But at the end of the day, let's do what we doing. Uh, and that's that's really it. Now I just want to say, ghetto luxury in stores. Yeah. Vonnie Loke, ghetto luxury. Album in stores. They said it's one of the hottest shit that's out right now. That's what they said. So, I mean, that's what you know. Uh, the last album, Vonnie Loke, original Baby Gangsta. They said that's one of the hottest, sh you know. So shit. That's what they said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh God. So. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. Uh, 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 719, uh, uh, what else? What else? 970, uh, <laughs> all that shit, nigga. 303, West Coast Mafia. My chain on backwards. That's how I be fucked up. I be sometimes. Nigga, uh, 303, uh, West Coast Mafia. BIG. Bonnie Log V3 Bird Gang. It's a movement. Look, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Hell yeah, all right, to end it out, to end it yeah, out. it's a Mel High Minute. Yeah, Hell it's a Mel yeah. High Minute. Tell you, yeah, to end it out. Where can uh, people find hey, you? Instagram find me on Instagram, on. find me on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I don't even really use Twitter. Okay. But okay. you can find me on there. Find me on all that shit. Okay. And? Uh, uh, shout out to my baby mamas, nigga. Yeah, no, real quick, YouTube, stream platforms, all that. It's all the same name. That's part of marketing. When they teach you marketing and development, 
All your platforms have to say the same thing. You can't be on Facebook saying, the nigga that kills niggas. <laughs> Your name need to be your rap name, so uh -huh. then when people look your rap name up, they find you on YouTube and all the other shit. And that, that's the smallest, biggest part of marketing. Okay. Stop. We, if you're a rapper, your Facebook name don't need to be, I beat up niggas. <laughs> no, for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. 53rd uh -huh. Street, Vonnie Log, Bellside, original. Let's go. Okay, hold on real, real, real quick. Try it yeah. out. My, you got to shout out Maha Mini one time to end it up. Maha Mini, man. Hold on, hold on. Which one? <laughs> Hold up, you might have to cut me. Hold up. No, you good. You give a shout out to who? Mohammed, man. Mohammed. <laughs> Mohammed. <laughs> Bro, you, you you pulling the the Vlad on? Nah, <laughs> hold up, guys. You pulling the Charlemagne? You said the Mohammed? Mohammed Mini. Oh, Mohammed Mini. Yes, sir. Yeah. Talk to him. Vani Log V3. Shout out to the Mohammed Mini. You know what I'm saying? Uh. You know what time it is, you know what we on, and we on that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Shit, man, high minute. Yes, you know sir. Hey, man, I'm all high minute, number one podcast in the universe. We out. The best. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir.